What is up guys, it's Barry Michael Doyle here and welcome to another video. This one's pretty much uh, based off of a live stream I did a few days ago. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to contribute to an open source project and I figured a lot of people don't actually know the simple steps to doing that. So first of all, you, you need to find a repo of what you want to like contribute to. Now, many people make the mistake of cloning that repo, making their changes and then doing a whole branch thing and it's just like... The, the steps that I'm going to mention are a lot more straightforward and it kind of separates their project from what you're doing. And that way, if, if they don't accept your changes, you can kind of keep going your own way. Um, but basically here are the steps that you need to follow. If you want to do this easily, you simply have to do step one where you fork the repo. Uh, let me move my face over here. Um, clone the forked repo. So you fork it to your repository. So now it's your forked version. And then you go and clone that to your local machine. You make your changes, you commit, push, and then like, yeah, you push it back up to your fork to master branch. So now you've got a master branch that needs to merge into the main project's master branch. Now I recommend trying to do this kind of change as quickly as possible so that your branch doesn't fall too far behind. But once you've pushed it up, you make a merge request on GitHub or GitLab, whatever kind of open source platform you're using. Um, so you make a pull request to go back into the original repo. So I'm just going to go through the steps of doing this practically on one of my friend's projects where I'm going to pull his project, make a basic change and make a pull request. I doubt he's going to accept it because it's going to be a pointless change, but just uh, he'll understand I'm doing it for the videos. Cool. So let's head over to um, our console. Right. So, so here we are at, um, on GitHub, like, and this is my friend's project. So he's got this like wonderful little, uh, leaderboard project we've been doing this as a live stream there's no like readme and stuff but basically i just wanted to show you the process so over here i've got a fork button i'm assuming you have a github profile so i'm going to fork this to my project um cool there we go we're forking it so it's basically making a copy of the project of what it currently is and like moving it to my thing so now i own this forked version and it you know it has a reference to say that it's been forked from there so now what i want to do is i want to clone or download what I'm going to do is I have SSS or SSH set up, um, so I can clone it like this. Um, but you guys might need to clone it a little bit differently. If you haven't got that set up, you can do the HTTPS. It's just going to ask you for your username and password if you do that way. So you could do it this way, copy this, or you could either way is going to work. It just means the one will require a password. So I like to keep all my projects in my dev folder. Um, so I'm going to write get clone and then the string that I copied over here. So I run that. And now it's busy cloning stuff up. Cool. There we go. That's all cloned up. So now I'm going to open VS code. Uh, and this might open, yeah, it's opening our other live stream project because we worked on that last night. Let me go open up that leaderboard app. There we go. There it is. So this is the forked, like, you know, version that we've just cloned. Um, everything worked successfully. So it, it like cloned this leaderboard app. Perfect. Um, let's just like, Firebase updates. So let's just say I wanted to, um, like, I don't know, call this React leaderboard app. I made that change. Now I want to, uh, this is my prettiest stuff not set up. So I've made that change and I want to commit that change. So I'm going to git add, git commit, and we just say a uh, minor change for a YouTube video. Well, um, just so my friend knows. There we go and close that oh, i have closed it so there we go we've done our change now we're going to push it up so we wait for this push to happen pretty straightforward so what this push does is it pushes it back up to our project over here so on on my repo like that i forked from here if i refresh this page i can see that there are 42 commits now as opposed to 41 and i should see in source 20 seconds ago there we go it says 24 seconds ago I can see that this has been updated to React Leaderboard app. When the forked version, if we right click and open link here, this main version of the project is still saying, is it an app.js? Leaderboard app, when mine says React Leaderboard app. So this is pretty cool. On my forked version, I need to go make a pull request. Now, to do that, so I click over here, pull request, and I say new pull request. So my new pull request, I'm doing it from my project. It, it takes me back to the forked version. So now it's going to say, okay, you want to merge your master into the main master. And that's exactly what I want to do. So now I can create a pull request. Um, 
this is here yeah, just shows the changes so this is what my friend kevin will see like he'll see like okay barry's trying to change this and i'm going to create a pull request and uh i'm just going to say i did this for a youtube video great create my pull request and now kevin will get a like the like some build processes might happen in like depending on like what project you're doing this one doesn't have any like kind of build pipeline stuff set up so other projects might be a bit more strict about what you change they'll be like okay you've got to fo follow our style guidelines or whatever and you just read the documents there they'll they'll have a good read me on how to contribute if they want you to contribute to their project so yeah now like this branch has no conflicts with base um i am actually like uh pretty much a collaborator on this project. So I can merge it myself if I want to, but theoretically you wouldn't be able to do this. Um, it's just because I am like a part owner in this branch. So I can, he'll see a merge pull request. So he'll see this, he'll be like, okay, cool. I can see he did this. I can go look at what change he did. If I click on there, I see the change. If I go back, I can say, okay, that's good. I'm gonna merge it. Um, yeah, you know, and just confirm the merge. So now his project's updated, but like, you know, that's, that's how a pull request works. So it's been merged and now it's part of the main branch, which is pretty epic. Um, anyways, guys, that's going to be me for the video. Uh, very straightforward. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use this as a tool. If you enjoy it, please like, and subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to start a discord channel soon. So we can do like some hangout collaboration chats on there as well. It'll be fun. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.